hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be sharing with you the best way in which you can be able to edit your videos especially now we are not living in a world where video creation and video editing is becoming more and more compulsory almost in everything that you do there is nothing you will do today that doesn't require you creating videos and, and many individuals today are looking for the best tool or the best applications in which they can be able to use in order for them to edit their videos effectively that is why in this video i'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks strategies in which you can be able to use in order for you to create or edit your video using CapCut. Yeah, CapCut is one editing tool in which can then editing it with the right tools help you edit your videos effectively at ease and all without stress. All you just need to do is to follow me as I'm going to be showing you some tricks in which you can be able to use in doing this. This video will be divided into two. Use my phone and I'll also be using my laptop. The first video I will be able to show you guys is how you can be able to use your phone in editing whatever thing you want to do very easily and all of that. Then in my second video, I will show you how to use your system in which you can be able to use in editing and it come out like a pro. All you just need to do is to follow me through as I'm going to show you all of these things. Now without wasting much time, I will go down to my phone in which I will show you how to be able to use the cap cut and do all of these things effectively. Now the very first thing you need to do is to go to Play Store, download the the cap cut in which can allow you to be able to edit whatever thing you do just download the cap cut app on your phone and once you download the app cap cut and you open it it will appear like this on your phone and if you look the very features here in front of you you will see the different features in which you can be able to see here and i'm going to be showing you all that it, it takes here this is the camera where you can be able to shoot your videos effectively straight directly and this is where you can be able to retouch a video in which you have probably already uh captured yourself with and all of that and you can also see other features like the prompts and the caption aspect in which when you want to use it you can be able to do that another thing i'm going to show you right now is how you can be able to edit your video once you've been able to shoot it now imagine you have shoot your videos all you just need to do is to come to this new project and you click on it and once you click on the new project to give you the option for you to choose which video you want to edit and all of that so imagine you have been able to shoot your video and you want to edit it i always advise that you always use your phone to capture yourself instead of coming to cap court and then start uh, capturing yourself immediately from there and you want to edit it just use your phone do your normal uh, uh capturing in which after at the end of the day you got what you want you come to cap court edit it and you get the best that you're looking for now imagine i've been able to shoot my video or i've been able to capture myself doing what i want all i have to do is to come to this new project i will now select which video i want to edit now imagine I, I click on this first one that this is the video i want to edit i'll click on this ad and once i click on this ad you see the diff it will bring me to the layer where i'll be able to uh start editing and if you look down below here you will see the different features in which it has it has the editing the audio and it also has the text aspect the uh the sticker over layer effect filter ratio canvas and many other i will show you how to do all of these things at ease without stretching yourself now imagine you have started editing and you start playing your video and you don't like what you want to see or you don't like what you are hearing all you just need to do is to click on this particular uh, box or click on the video itself and once you click on this video on this layer it will show you where you can be able to split your videos and if you look the first one here it's showing that you can be able to split your videos now if you want to split your video all you just need to do is to click on this split and once you click on the split your video will be splitted into two and you can be able to continue to edit it and when you start importing it will come together and give you the best that you're looking for apart from that you can see the speed as where well. you can be able to make your video to run very fast and all of that and you can also see the animations area and the style aspect now imagine that you have been able to edit your videos and you want to put a a layer that is you want to put something like a um let me say you want to put a subscribe button or over layer where you use a green screen to do whatever thing you want to do now imagine that you want to put in an over layer you click on that over layer as per you click on add an over layer which is a video or a green screen you want to tap here let me just choose this subscribe button green screen and 
let me know let me not select this let me use this one for instance and once i click on it it will bring me or it will bring it to my video where i'm editing all i have to do is to edit it how can you be able to remove this particular overlay it's very simple all you just need to do is to come here you code on you hold on the video or, or your overlay you come below here you will see uh this area called the cap cut once you click on this area called the cap cut all you just need to do is to click on this uh chroma key and once you click on the chroma key you come to your screen aspects look at these two these round balls take it to the green aspect and once you take it to the green aspect you come to this intensity area and then increase the intensity to 100 as you can see here the green screen is no longer here all i have to do right now is to click on ok and it's in my video i can just do that on wherever i want now i can also de de decide to reduce the volume of this particular layer you if you come down below here you see the volume aspect all you just need to do is to click on reduce volume and reduce it to the minimum so that even though you are talking on your video and you click on put this subscribe button aspect it will not be all, all that loud because if you leave it at the hundred or whatever it is it will be too loud and the people who see who are listening to you might not listen or hear what you are saying so all you just need to do is to reduce it to the minimum and then you can decide to mute it and all of that then this is this for that then another thing i'm going to show you guys is how you can be able to put in your text if you are editing your video now imagine you're editing your video and you want to put in a text all you just need to do is to come down below here you see the text aspect and then you click on this add a text and once you click on this add a text you see the layer giving the option for you to add a text all you just need to do is to tap or click on what you want to do let me just say i want to write good okay and i click on good and now once i've been able to type this good the next thing for me to do is for me to put in the style the font the effect the animation or whatever i want to do remember capcom give you the option for you to use this feature once your data is on you don't need to subscribe to them just on your data you'll be able to see all these features on your phone so all you just need to do is to open your app allow your data to be on at this aspect and then you come to this front aspect you choose whatever font that you want all you just need to do is to click on download it and once you download it to give you that feature that you are looking for as you can see here it has been done and then if you come to the style aspect you can choose whatever style you can come to the effect aspect it will load up you will see the different effect once you click on the effect aspect you see the different effect which you can be able to use on your layer now in this test i imagine i want to use a text or a, a, an effect and let me say i want to use this particular effect as you can see the color has changed and all of that now how do i want this uh, effect to come in now it will take me to the animation aspect where i can be able to put in the in animation how it will come into my video it or uh, the out animation or even the loop where the view is showing on my screen so all i have to do is to select what i want imagine i want it to be typing and writing and as you can see here i just click on it and then i can make it to be faster i can make it to be slower depending on what you are creating now in the outer animation the same thing applies all you just need to do is to select the 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 animation that you want and whether you want it to be faded out and once you make it to be faded out it will load and then allow you to do what you want to do now the same thing also applies to to the loop the loop is as your video is showing or as your text is showing it will be making some moves or it will be making some uh, moves as you can see here let me use this for instance it's still on but is making this particular move this is how you can be able to use your text all i can do right now is to decide to drag it wherever i want and all of that put this as many times as you want and all of that now apart from these two you can also decide to bring in uh your audio additional audio probably it's your music you want to be on the background it want to you want to add something on that it let me say it's a, 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 a sound all i have to do is to come to this sound aspect i'll go to uh, sound i'll go to sound and once i go to sound you see it will load up it will give me different things that i want to use it can be a a, a song or it can be a music in your phone all you just need to do is to know what you are looking for 
then you come to if it is in your in your phone you you click on this uh file aspect you see extract you see my device once you click on your device you see the sounds or the songs on your phone in which you do, can decide to use when you want to use the sound now imagine i want to use these um this bench sound for instance and you all you just need to do is to know which sound you want to use and now i'm using this burn sound and if you look at the volume in this burn sound it might be loud so remember if you are using a sound on your video let it not be too loud so that people can be able to hear what you are saying you can decide to reduce it you can decide to increase it depending on what you are doing so once you're able to do that as you can see it's playing it's making that sound so depending on what you are creating and all of that so imagine that i have edited all of these things or i have decided to lower the sound of this uh, particular song i just put in and i don't want to go back to start creating a new one or start bringing in a new one you can decide to duplicate it all you just need to do is to come to this copy aspect it will just copy your sound it will just copy your sound all you just need to discover let me do as if i i you can also edit this by splitting it and then you can remove this one if you wish then imagine i want to duplicate it all i have to do is to click on it and then you come to this copy aspect you click on copy you will see it will give you additional one the same way you can keep on doing that as you like even in your normal video you can decide to reduce the uh the the noise or suppress the noise in your area if you are you shot your video in an area where there is noise can, uh, cap code give you the option for you to do the noise reduction you all you just do is to add it and your video will be imported and to be done effectively apart from these two you can also be able to use your video to adding stickers you can also decide to with the ratio in which you want your video to be and all of that so imagine you have been able to do all of these things and you are done editing your video all you just need to do is to come at the top here where you can be able to select the quality of your video whether you want it to be on 720p or you want it to be at uh, 1080p so i always advise if you have a phone storage is okay all you need to use is the 1080p it will make your video to be more brighter very clear and very effective now if you know that you don't have that enough space it's better you leave it at this 720 it will still be clear if there is nothing wrong using your 720 bus this 1080 is more effective more better for you to be able to use this frame ratio always leave that 25 you can also decide to increase it the higher you increase it the higher mb or megabyte in which it will contain in order for you to create your videos now once you've been able to do this all you just need to do is to click this arrow at the top here where it's showing you download and once you click on it it will download automatically on your phone as you can see it is extracted and all of that so this is it this is how you can be able to get the best out of your um cut cap cut and all of that so you can also decide to do other things play around it you can be able to see other features in which you can be able to use so if you don't get anything clear like how to remove the background you can rewind back you'll be able to see it how i took it out you will see the cap cut area where you can be able to reduce the intensity here you see the chroma key in other apps it's called the chroma key but here it's called the cap cut you reduce the intensity and then you take it to the green aspect and then remove what you are looking for maybe i have to do that again so that many of you can be able to understand what i mean now this is the green screen all you just need to do is to come back to this cap cut area you see the chroma key and then you decide to reduce the chroma key Key to the intensity that you want if i click on the intensity to bring me back to my green screen and all of that so uh, I'll, I'll still leave it here it is which is the hundred percent so that to remove those particular green screen and all of that so you can use CapCut very easily and one sweet part of uh, CapCut is that it allows you to use it for as a free version you will not see any logo at the top or wherever you are doing all you just need is your data to be on especially when you are putting in text or putting in other aspects in which you want to use 
So if you got value, don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed and do me a favor by sharing this video as well. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can use your PC or your laptop in order for you to use this CapCut effectively. The future you will have been able to bring in using your laptop is more better and easy for you to use, but you can use your phone, which is more better and easy for many of us who started with handset or our phones while editing. So, you can enjoy the best of CapCut and as I see you on the next tasting, I love you. Peace.